then they will sit and then they will crawl and then they will walk and then they will run and you know they'll become a to- you know the after toddlerhood there's preteen teenage um young adult and adult and and somehow the moment you say teen people understand what that means um but psychologically there's a parallel process that's happening that when we are born for example when we are under 2 we are learning to trust. Mm. Trust is one of the critical psychological developments that is happening. Mm. And now there's you know how trust development you get to toddlerhood and you're learning autonomy versus shame and doubt, you know? Mm. Are you given the space to be autonomous? I, is this a toddler who's allowed to maybe play with the pots in the kitchen and what not and to understand that there's fire at the cooker and um or is this child shamed every time they explore hmm. and then you come to another stage 3 to 6 years where it's initiative versus guilt is the child going to come out of this um part of development able to take initiative so we get a lot of people from university and you give them a job and they're not able to take initiative mm. and we think that it's at that stage that eh, you should take initiative mm. kombe it should have happened at the between the age of 3 to 6 years mm. if you guilt your child too much about taking initiative that phase where they are exploratory and uh, they can spoil things in yes. in, in in trying to discover they're taking initiative i looked for the man in the red i didn't find him yeah, yeah. i got bitten exactly. for opening it up. exactly <laughs> It's it's important for the children to know it's okay to explore. Oh, I see you are looking for the man in the radio. You know, this 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 so however as, as parents we, spoiled we, the, we must know that it comes at a cost. We should be prepared ourselves to, make to, a budget. To, to to make a budget <laughs> <laughs> for for kids to explore. Uh, sorry for cutting you. I, I remember my brothers and I as were growing up. Yeah. There was this uh, wild uh, passion fruit that just came out of the fence and it, it just grew and so on. And I remember very well when it uh, kind of matured, we just had an idea, let's pick these things up, mm-hmm. put them in a uh, exactly that. <laughs> Now this neighbor did not buy, uh, sent us back home and so on, but reported us to our parents. Mm. My friend, the beating we received that day And entrepreneurship. entrepreneurship that entrepreneurship yeah. died <laughs> yes, yes, <he's> <laughs> happens to the best of us absolutely yeah. there's mm. a lady who comes back home and finds how white sheets have been dragged Painted. in the mud and they're trying to build a tent outside luckily she's a psychologist and she's like oh this is beautiful you're trying to make a tent outside however these are my white sheets wow. so you're going to have to go and wash them so there's a difference so well, that's where that's where Omo got there there yeah, 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 that is inside from there it's a very powerful insight by the way the, the ones of letting kids explore i mean that is in, initiative that is, that is good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Initiative. that is good so 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 initiative that we we want when i i, I get out of the house it is organized when i come back i want it organized, organized. i should just kiss that goodbye and allow the kids to grow and explore as, responsibly is that as, what you're saying as they grow you teach them the boundaries you do you allow you you sort of make room it's an art form mm. a little bit of initiative a little bit of control you know mm. and but just not killing the initiative in mm. them so you know these are people who end up in marriage and they can't take initiative and we wonder why mm. it was killed at the age between 3 to 6 years oh. and then there's 7 to 12 years which industry versus inferiority okay you know sort of the initiative now grows to are you i can develop an industry maybe you could have gotten into fruit farmers or something <laughs> whatever you and your brother yeah versus inferiority of feeling that's, that's what uh, people normally call uh, Sin, something syndrome imposter syndrome does it come in yes, there yes yes possibly by i can't say for sure but yes that resonates it starts developing at that particular yeah, moment that in resonates. time when when you're feeling like what uh, age is that 7 to 12 years i am not enough 7 to 12 even if years. you you have the things going on you you kind of doubting yourself uh, okay yeah so for for kids um i, I don't want to glorify the west but you've seen people in in reading books lemonade stands yeah, you know the yeah. child sort of gets a project that they yeah, do yeah, around yeah. that age yeah, and yeah. they're allowed to fundraise for something and Self-fortune even here cookies. in um Chiwatule there's a young boy i think he's 13 
he sells he sold his mom baking and he said he wanted to start his own baking mm-hmm. business mm-hmm. so he bakes every sunday and he goes around selling to the neighbors and you know to 19 years is identity versus role confusion mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. they're trying to break away and they're trying to see who's cool what is cool mm-hmm. who am i like you know mm-hmm. and they're really parents sometimes fault kids for going off at, on them at that point but really they need to find who am i in the world without my parents mm. they need to form an identity that is separate from the parents and we need to allow them to explore that mm. um so we get to 20 to 39 years which is intimacy versus uh isolation and Normally in psychology or, or in this theory of psychological development by the way this is Erikson psychological developmental stages there are different uh, theories but this is the one that resonates the most with me um he says before you can go on to, so um at around the age of 20 to 39 we are looking for love that is the main virtue we're looking for and we are looking to be intimate whether it's marriage or it's deep friendships we are looking and to this is across the board across the board mm. now when we fail to do the intimacy we end up in isolation but I was, I was telling um Ngozi earlier that when we fail at intimacy we have to kick back to the previous stage which was identifying yourself self identity who am i in the you cannot do intimacy successfully without knowing who you are at your core what you like what you don't like and then you present a consistent self entity to the man and the uh, fights are it. yeah and the fights are inconsistent and you know the partner doesn't know whether you're coming or going because today <laughs> you say that tomorrow you say that you know it's just confusion some you some people's reality show right now you need to do identity before you do intimacy and then the last stage is 40 to 59 years is generativity uh, does my life count can i give back Focus. to the world you know self actualization those types of things mm. so you know uh, what you what you've shared i think we've talked about it by in a different way mm-hmm. um that there are, we call them four levels of growth mm-hmm. and the first one which you would look at between uh 0 to 12 or 13 yeah is dependency yeah and then you come to the next level which is independence mm mm-hmm. yeah that yeah. is that is or mm-hmm. so that's independence mm-hmm. where you know who you are you can take care of yourself you can you can stand on your own yes then the third level of growth is what we call inter interdependence where two complete people two fully able people thumbs up thumbs up come yes. together yes. and out of the fullness of who they are yeah. they are able to give now right. at that point depending on what you have gone through mm-hmm. whether one is at that level or not you have either codependence mm-hmm. or again independence now codependence is where uh someone who is not fully mature mm. is is depending on someone else for their emotional uh peace of mind or everything yes. and yeah. if you take away the other partner this person question mm. now the fourth level of growth for me is now where you are dependable <laughs> you get nice. where where people can depend, depend on, on you, you where right? your, your grandchildren can depend on can you, where, on. you you can be counted on that's why you now multiplicable mm. that is how we've looked at it and that's how we say man if you if as a man you've not yet gotten through your independence stage and you've not yet been a bachelor mm. please please <laughs> do not be disturbing people's daughters seriously we might laugh yes but i think bachelorhood yes is, is very very it's a face it's a face that needs to be gone through yeah yeah What? i agree there's a time when i was out of just finished university and i already had my boyfriend and i felt i needed to leave home and experience being a spinster you know before getting married i really felt i needed that and maybe that contributed to to my turmoil in marriage that i just had never lived by myself and been dependent on myself i'd always been you know in an extended so, family 
I want us to take a short break. Okay. But when we come back, I don't know if you'll be open enough to tell us about the turmoil in your mind. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm also to, curious to learn from it. The drama uh, begins because you've already. I think you've already <laughs> we'll ex- <see>. ex- expressed <laughs> yourself at the back cover of your book that you yes. went through some kind of turmoil. Yes. And uh, now that you've gone and studied, maybe you have some kind of perspective that can be able to help mm-hmm. someone. And maybe when you're helping someone, you're looking at the angle of uh, it's a man. Mm. Of course, even ladies are there. But uh, when you are going through, what uh, can a man learn from what you went through? Okay. After the break. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stop talking about well, hello and welcome to Solid Jamaz. This is a show for men. The word solid, you know what it means. It means substance, means foundation. Jamaz is a Swahili slang word that means the brothers, the comrades. And so this is a show for men. And we do believe that conversations will always instruct, conversations will reveal, they will inform, they will inspire, and they will motivate us. And today, more than anything, more than anything ever, men need to engage in conversations that will help us to grow and to get to the desirable stature in this world. And therefore, Solid Jamaz offers a safe place where we can come and we can discuss our things. Catch an episode every single Monday of the week. And uh, if you have anything that you want us to discuss, you can reach us out on solidjamaz at gmail.com or you can check us out on any of our social media pages, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. And we'll have these conversations going on. It's a conversations for men. Enjoy the show. So we're back from the break with the pendo. Pendo actually means love in Swahili. Correct. Pendo means ngonzi. You 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 don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm hijacking. I'm just blessed to be here with our name. Say, yes, Lawrence, you're saying. So you are to tell us some of the dramas that uh, some of the pain points that you, you suffered in your marriage, mm-hmm. and uh, it sent you on a quest. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that quest has been enriching because there's some things that you've been able to discover. Yes. And uh, you're now able to share with the world, and some of them you put them in in your book. Yeah. So what are some of these dramas that you know okay. you could highlight? And uh, the drama did did, did you want to leave? Did he want to leave? I mean, this is the part where the drama comes in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um I'll see what I can share for you guys. Uh I put quite a bit in the book so people should read the book. Yeah. Yes. Um and I don't want to preempt that. But uh some of the drama that happens in, in marriage is not drama that you can put on a podcast and someone actually gets it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of it is very subtle. Mm. Subtle. I do remember going to a marriage therapist and they looked at me and they're like you have a house, mm. you have a car, mm. your husband is well known in society. Mm. What do you want? What else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> like you got it. You have it all. What's the problem? You travel out to the country when you need to. What do you want? And and that's that's the sad part is that the trauma and the pains that we go through can be very silent and very invisible. Yeah, you cannot see it like you see a gunshot. Yeah, or you it's see not a, like you're going to see me with bone. a broken arm yeah. or whatever. But let me just maybe give you a little bit of background. 
that I had some traumas growing up, and I, I'll discuss. Uh, those are in the book. Read the book. Mm. It's at Aristotle. It's at whatever. Mm. Read the book, and and those traumas led me to a point where I was looking to be healed in the marriage. I was looking for um, affection.